Hey guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show. Let's haul some things. I feel like I really kind of toned down my spinning, my spinning, my spending just a bit. I think some of these things actually came from, what are we in, March, February? I think I ordered, I think this one got ordered in February. Um... But we're hauling it in March. So some of the things I ordered at the end of February, I really feel like I've said this before, that it would be like not a huge haul and then it ends up being pretty hefty anyway. But whatever, it, it adds up, right? <laughs> um, okay, I ordered from Paper Shire and I have not ordered from Paper Shire in quite some time. But they had a couple things that I was like, I have to have these and ordered like five of one of them. You'll see when we get there. So I got this ginormous card here. This is 365 new chances. And then this one that has peony kisses. Those are cute. Okay. So when I order from Paper Shire, I go pretty hefty because I just do. It's an international order. So I always just get what I want because it's going to take it a minute to get here. So this was an Instagram freebie. I think I put in an Instagram code or something to save a little bit of money and then you got a special freebie. I love this. I feel like the red I'm not going to be able to use a lot, but I really like that one. This was an all orders one. This was a 20 pounds, right? That's right, pounds order one. I think that one is hilarious. This was the 40 pound with all the food and then this was my actual order yes so I got the vlogging equipment I don't vlog I, I hope to vlog one day I don't do a lot of voiceovers but I'm sure there's more voice voiceovers in my future but I really love the cameras and of course the YouTube on the computer there so these are gonna be great for filming then I did get the podcast one too just for like voiceovers pretty much that says pod i don't really listen to podcasts but we'll figure something out on that one then i got the meal out ones <sighs> i already have a million food stickers but why not um they actually i think have resized their stickers which is great they're smaller so before their stickers were rather large and kind of harder to use especially in smaller labels y'all know y'all know uh the struggle i got the hair tool ones i just thought this would be cute to use for like my hair appointments instead of just like i think i only have like two or three hair cutting stickers i don't really have that many to choose from so i just thought this would be good to use for that because lord knows i never fix my hair this was the one that drew me to going and ordering you guys they have foiling machine stickers. I was so excited. I have not been able to find anything to use other than like just a generic printer sticker or something like that for when I'm foiling because that's pretty much my job in the office is foiling. I think I ordered five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And I've already used one because I've had this sitting over here for weeks. So I thought it was finally time. I've already used one off of this too. I got the dental care ones and mostly I got this for like using for teeth whitening. I said this in a plan with me. I just want to put this out in the universe. I've not seen any like teeth whitening strip stickers or anything that you could use for teeth whitening. So that's why I got those because you could have this one sheet and it take forever. It take years to use it, right? Especially if you're only going to the dentist every six months. So I thought that would be good for that. Um, I got the board game one because I don't really have a lot of like game night stickers. I got the postal service one. Y'all know I got to get the stampies. Um, I got the home cook one. I feel like I don't have enough like cooking stickers. I got the swearing ones. I think these are funny. There's a swear jar. I don't know when I would use these, but sometimes you just need them. I got the hangry one, the phone scrolling one. I think I ordered yeah, a few of these because I'm constantly on my phone. It's part of my job. So it's just something that happens. I got one two three of those i got the little made stickers i thought these were so cute there's some once more would love made ones that i absolutely love for just 
general cleaning like if you're just cleaning the house and it's not just one certain thing that you're cleaning you know um or sometimes i use it for just like cleaning the kitchen instead of using like a dishwashing sticker but once more with love does not have like a whole maid sheet i wish they did so i just thought these were so cute with the maids um i got some snow fun ones i realize winter is over but i literally have no stickers to use for when it snows and it snowed several times this year like we don't hardly ever get snow but it actually did snow three or four times this year so i'm gonna need those um i got some more laundry stickers i feel like i just don't have enough laundry stickers i got another just like cleaning one I got a scary movie one. I thought while I was in there just making a big order, I would pick up some Halloween and fall stuff. I don't know if I got fall, but I did definitely get Halloween stuff. Um, and just put these away because it will be Halloween before we know it. And then I got the Halloween work one. Cute. I got another cleaning one. Apparently did not have enough cleaning stickers. I got the YouTube floral ones. I got the fast food boxes. I feel like Paper Shire has so many options for food. Like if you, there's a couple that they don't have. I'm still looking for a shrimp sticker. Um, but they have a lot of food options. I got just the planning one. I thought these were super pretty. I got the scrapbook one, but I will use this for, of course, planning. I like the little, can you see the little smiley face in there? That's cute. Um, I'll use these for like when I'm doing plan with me prep or maybe like filming. I got the rice cooker one, but I thought it looked more like either a crock pot or an instant pot. I don't have a rice cooker, but that's what I'm going to use it for. And then I got the cookbook one. Just, I don't know, maybe if I'm trying out a new recipe or I was going to say HelloFresh, but I actually canceled my HelloFresh subscription, but it could be used for just like cooking in general. All right, that was Paper Shire. And then I have, I do have an order from Once More With Love. So they have new packaging and I'm pretty positive they have new paper, which makes their characters just like pop. I swear it makes the characters look like they're drawn different, but I don't think they are. Um, so see, yeah, this was a February freebie, so I ordered these in February. Even though February is a short month, you can still make it last. So that's all the little freebies. That's cute. I haven't noticed if there's like a sheet of those in the shop or not, but that's cute. Um, okay, so here is the card. It says you deserve to rest. I certainly do. All right, this is my order. I've already used one for this. So, or from this, I used a little meal prepping one. I don't prep a lot, but there are like certain things when I do go get groceries that I do prep just a few things. So I thought this would be good for that or just like cooking in general, honestly. I got the budgeting one. I thought this one was so cute and that's pretty much why I got it was for that one. I do like the calculator one too, but I will use these for like when I am doing my checkbook. I got the worried one because God knows I worry more than anybody else that I know. Um, and then I got the food together one. I ordered this one last time, but I just love it so much and I feel like I'm going to use the crap out of it. I may order one every time I go in there. Um, and then these are like on the older paper, like you can so tell. Can you guys tell on camera the difference, how more vibrant, how much more vibrant this is than this? So I feel like probably once they go out of stock of these, they'll start doing them on the new paper maybe. Um, I got the make the bed ones because when I wash my sheets, this is literally the only sticker I use for that and I had one left. So I got another one of those. I got a meal kit one, but I just said I canceled my subscription. It's not like, I don't know, I might try it again sometime, but I just felt, I just felt kind of like it was expensive and like I would forget, like I would skip a lot of weeks and then I would forget whenever they were coming and then I would go spend $200 on groceries and then have to pay another 50 or $60 just for two meals. So it is a little pricey anyway. And then I got another hairstyling one. Again, I think these will be great for just going to get my hair done, um, get it cut and colored and stuff. So that was my one small with love. I feel like that was a pretty tiny one for, for one small with love. My next one is Bubba Bear Studios. I have been loving ordering from her lately. I just, this is one of my top favorite shops. It just is. I love her doodles. I love the bears. I think they're so stinking cute. So this is a freebie. 
The Daily Dose of Giggles. How do snails fight? They slug it out. <laughs> and then these are, I think, some of like their popular stickers maybe. And then they have like the SKU numbers. So you can just go in and search that. And then this is... Da -da 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 -da. Another freebie, I guess. I have not even looked at this order. It's like Christmas. So this is the March freebie. These are cute. I wish I had a dishwasher to use that one. I definitely love that one and that one and that one. That's cute too. I could probably use that in like my monthly section. And then this is my actual order. I don't think I realized that this sheet of stickers was like so little compared to the other ones. But that's fine. It's just a male cluster mini sheet. It does say mini sheet, so I should have known that. I got the Fly Away Money Bears. I got the Drive Through Bears. So I think these were all new releases, and I might have picked up some I already had. No, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I just got all new ones. So she had new releases. Uh, Drive Through Bears. I got the Haircut Bear again. I, I'm I am really stocking up on hair. Hair cutting and hair coloring ones for me. Oh, I got two of them. Okay. <laughs> I got two of the colorful ones. Then I got the Barbell Bear for my fitness planner. I got the Stomach Ache Bears. I got the Don't Give a F Bears. This was on the freebie, I think, from February. I remember saying I wished they would come to the shop, and they did. Sometimes you just you just got to put it out in the universe, and it happens. And then I got the car ones. I like those for when I go to Dunlap and whatnot. Um, is that as far it as far as my? I think that's it as far as my character stickers go. And then everything else over here is like kits. So let's go in with my Caress Press um, mystery kit, you guys. This is a fun mystery. I think I've said it every time. I'm so glad I signed up to her mysteries. At first, when I seen this, I was like, I don't understand what this kit is. <laughs> um, what is happening in these boxes? Um, so if you've not seen the March mystery, you want to be surprised you don't have yours yet. I'm sure you probably do. But um, I never really see sneaks of Caress Press mysteries anywhere. So you might be seeing it for the first time. So like I said, when I first look at it, I was just like, oh, this just is like a general home um kit right but then i looked at the name of it and it's called hot mess it's called hot mess so if you look at each of the boxes so this one you've ran out of coffee i guess that's when you got one little pod left there this one you have like so much of your to-do list and then your phone's dying this one um it says let that shit go on the candle this one you spilled your cup of coffee this one, you broke a heel, right? This one has the pizza sliding off the pizza box. And then in this one, um, some keys are missing from your laptop. And then like your curling wand here is broken. <laughs> so it's just like everything that could go wrong, could go wrong, could go wrong, could go wrong. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. And it's just a hot mess of a kit, right? <laughs> That makes sense. This is so fun. I've never seen a theme like this. So I feel like she has some really good themes that you don't see anywhere else. And then this one has like your survival kit with your um, gas jug there. And then I love the girls. It says no bad days. Only thing I wish that their shirt said something different, but it does say no bad days on each of them. She's carrying the gas jug there. And then here is the last page. I do get the essentials kit. Um, I think the only difference is it doesn't come with the six heart checklist and then it does come with the washi add-on and then here is what the foil bundle looks like that comes with it. It is in a really pretty orange. I don't know if you can tell it from that particular page but it's just kind of like a twinkle format. It's called Glimmer actually. Um, there's there's the orange if you can catch it. So what I've started doing just with this particular kit, I tried to do it with last month's new releases, or not new releases, last month's um, mystery kit too, but I was too late, is because she only has one page of overlays and for the most part that usually doesn't work for me. Sometimes the amount of headers doesn't work for me. Um, what I've been doing 
What I did this time was I went back and once she put these in the shop, I went back and ordered another foil bundle because I don't have this particular color. Now, if it was like a silver hollow or silver or gold or something that I do have in stock, I probably won't unless it's just like a real specific pattern maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so I do have another one of these on the way. All right, I think the only thing I have left as far as kits go is Scribble Prince Co. I have a foil order. I don't know what of these. I mean, I know that mystery kit was a separate order, but I don't know what was separate here. I've just been trying to stock up on foil mostly. She always has really fun foil colors that I don't particularly have. Oh yeah, this one's so pretty. Um, so yeah, this was just a foil order here, but here are some of my freebies that I've gotten. They're little freebie packs. I got this. I have no idea what kit that is too, but that would be really fun for fall. And then this sort of card here, I actually, I don't know if that's supposed to be used as a washi card or what. I got another one of the bows. The year is yours. Just some um, foil freebies. I've been loving using those in my monthly section. And then I think that was it as far as the freebie pack. And then this was the actual freebie for my order. I guess it was like she's been having like a color of the month or something maybe. I don't know if that goes for freebies or if that's just something in her shop. So I did pick up a few little twinkly bits um, and some headers. Uh, I got the bow headers. Let's see. I got in gold, silver, silver hollow, and her rose gold. My rose gold and her rose gold do not really match very well. Um, so I did pick up just to have extras. And then I did pick up some of the twinkly bits in all four of those colors too. I love using these up in the top with my deco. And like I said, hers does not match mine. So anytime I have a rose gold from her, I'll be able to match it with that. And then the foil bundle that was on sale and new for this particular week was this really, really gorgeous. She called it Periwinkle. It's so pretty. I love purple. It's my favorite. This is not my favorite format, but because it was in this color, I went ahead and ordered it. I told y'all before, I have a hard time using celestial formats if it's not like a celestial kit or like, I don't know, New Year's or 4th of July or something like that. But I just love this color. I think it's so pretty. So definitely just put it back and hoard it and eventually it will get used. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to grow my foil collection. I feel like I had a good collection of foil and kits and I got like new storage over here and realized I really don't have that much. So I did pick up just two of these and then of course bought two of the samplers to go with each one. And then I think that was one whole order and then I have this other order over here. Um, which was another foil bundle, but this is the freebies. Um, this is a rack bag, it says. I have no idea what this kit is for either, but it's like the whole kit without the boxes. And then um, some, I've never seen these before, um, foiled like shopping grocery. I won't use those. I just just never use foiled icons and then scripts and then I think this was like my actual order freebie in the yellow I do pull quite a bit of these off to use I put them in my little book over here and then what I picked up I picked up two pretty much just been picking up two foil bundles of each ones that she has new or that have one on sale that I feel like I can't live without so, <coughs> excuse me I thought this one was really fun I really don't know how foil people do different colors like that. Like I personally would not ever be able to do <laughs> foil to look like this. Like it's blue and red together. Like that would be like, I just don't understand how they do that. I'm sure it's like the foil color, but maybe not because wait till you see, or maybe they overlay. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they do it one color one time and then they overlay it with the other color. I'm not sure. Either way, it's pretty cool. 
And it makes me want to get foil manufactured even more. Because see how the bows are? They're both colors. I think that's so fun. And I'm not really like a red and blue like patriotic color person. But you never know when you're going to need these. I don't know if my kit for 4th of July this year is going to be like over the top red, white, and blue. It might be. So I will have the foil for it. And I mean there are other kits that you could use it with. And... I'm glad this is not like a celestial or, you know, whatever. Like, it's just a general bow one, so it will go with a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm very excited about this one. This is the March Mystery from Scribble Prince Co. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it, but if you haven't, turn your head. Now's your chance. I'm obsessed. I love this. I give me anything that's 90s, 80s, 90s, old school, like my childhood vibes. I feel like this is more of like a grungy type 90s kit, which I am here for. I absolutely love this. I love the colors. I love everything about it. The caboodle, the Furby. I didn't really have a Furby, honestly. But whatever. All of the CDs. Nirvana, Hole, Alice in Chains, Alanis Morissette, TLC, Pearl Jam, Green Day. Yes, I seen Green Day not too long ago. I love this. You guys, I probably am going to use a pixie pack with this because, as y'all know, I love that right there. So cute. We just put out a pixie pack that's going to go so good with this. It's very 90s themed with the the smiling faces and the um, yin yangs and all of that. It's going to go so good. Um, I think she's super cute. I just love this. Wayne's World. I remember going to see Wayne's World. Oh my god. I literally still use this mascara. I'm that old school. I still use Great Lash Mascara. I remember going to see Wayne's World. And my stepdad and my mom took me. And they were just like, what? did you bring us to? This is so dumb. <laughs> um, here is the foil bundle that came with this. I, I really wish it was a different color because I really feel like I'm probably going to use some sort of like probably silver hollow with this. This is, I don't know what color she called it. It kind of looks navy. I want to say she said it was black, like a black glitter. But it looks more navy in person. So it's like one of her new confetti type. I don't know what she calls it. Format. Um, in a, either black or navy glitter. Like I think it goes. But I think it just really darkens it even more. I don't know. Maybe by the time I'll get to it I'll use this one. Or I'll mix and match them. No I just said I had a really good pixie pack didn't I? I don't know you guys. I don't know if you can even see the glitter. This is... <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship with like the darker hollows and the glitters. I have black hollow over here and you literally cannot tell that it's hollow. You literally cannot see the glitter unless you're holding it really, really good in some light. So anyway, I'll use it eventually. And that is it as far as stickers go until I get anything else in. I don't know if I will before I wrap this haul up. Um, let me go ahead and show you. I've got one more just planner related thing until I get into my other stuff that's not. I picked up a new um, slice tool. Here is my old one. And I don't think these were even in stock anymore. I've had this one forever, like since I began using a slice tool. Um, years. I've had it for years. And it's been good, but I dropped it. I dropped it and I dropped it straight on the cutting part and it kind of bent it and ever since then it's really not been cutting great it's like i have to really bear down on it and i keep ripping some of my pages and i don't like that so i went online to try to find another one of these but i found i guess this is the new version and it's retractable i really think that's cool and then also you can buy replacement blades for this which i thought was even cooler so you don't have to go buy a whole new slice tool i don't remember how much this was it may have been like 20 bucks or something altogether, but I just went ahead and picked up a four pack of the blades while I was at it because you never know the next time I buy one of these, they might not even have this kind anymore, but I thought it was pretty genius to be able to trade them out and not have to buy a whole new one. So I feel like it already comes with a blade in it. I have five blades. This is going to last me a really, really long time unless I just drop it again. But anyway, that's pretty much it as far as planner stuff goes right now. 
Alright guys, I did get like the tiniest order from Crest Press. I had told you guys um, in the last bit that I filmed that I was going to reorder this or not reorder it, but order it because this came with the March Mystery. Oh, Jesus, if I can get it out. It was this um, orange foil bundle. You guys probably might have just seen it. I don't know where that clip is going to go in conjunction with this one, but I did get this in and I wanted to go ahead and film this because I am actually going to be using this in the next couple of weeks. So I got that. I'm going to put that with the kit so I can use it. And then I picked up some of her whole reinforcements. I really like the ones that she has. Can you see the little bows? I think they're super cute. So I got one in Silver Hollow because I feel like I just use Silver Hollow the most. And then I picked one up in her rose gold because I'm pretty certain that her rose gold matches SPC's rose gold. I think it does. Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like it matches mine. I'm not quite sure, but I was thinking, my thinking was, that it matched SPC's rose gold and my rose gold does not. So I thought anytime I had SPC rose gold, I could use those for my whole reinforcements. So that is legit it. All I got from Crest Press. And like I said, I just wanted to get this little tidbit filmed really quickly because I think... I've got one plan with me before I'm going to use the other foil bundle. Okay, I didn't mean to purchase a planner, but it happened. It happened. Um, I also want to just tell you guys that last segment that I just filmed a little bit ago. Um, the rose gold for Crest Press does not match SPC's rose gold. If you need to know that information, it actually does match my rose gold i really thought that it would match spc because they both get theirs manufactured and i just i just felt like theirs probably matched but i think spc has a rose gold that nobody else has and nothing matches it so there you go crest press rose gold matches our rose gold if you need to know that information so like i said i didn't mean to purchase a planner i was not intending on purchasing a planner i don't really purchase planners until like the end of the year but this came out and I was like, well, I have to have this. And honestly, I had no idea that this was even coming. I had no idea. And like, I caught it last minute and I was like, it has to be mine. So it might, it might look a little like the one I've already had. What was, when did I use this black one? I'm using pink this year, so it was last year, right? I had black for last year, but y'all, Y'all, have you seen these? Have you seen the new clouds? Oh my god. Do you see what the button is? It's a Mickey head. It's a Mickey head. So, like I said, I seen these very last minute. And y'all know, I've been saying over and over, I want to do a whole year of Disney. I want to do 52 weeks of Disney. I'm not even nowhere near having enough to do with 52 weeks of Disney yet. So this is probably not even going to be a planner for next year. But y'all... I had to get this because if you're going to have 52 weeks of Disney, you have to have an epic planner to match it, right? So there was three colors. There was black, there was a red, which probably would have been more traditional Disney, and then there was like a blue color, but wait till y'all see the inside of this. If you haven't seen these yet, just wait till you see the inside of this. I feel like this is so much stiffer than the other two that I, I don't know if this is made with a different material. But this planner is so much stiffer than my other two clouds. So, are you ready? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, you guys. The pink and the black together, is it not so pretty? I love it. Look at this. I love this so much. This is going to be perfect for an all Disney year. And then we got like some little Scribble Prince Co freebie stickers with it too i just love this so much so i'm going to put this back i don't know when it'll get used but this is definitely what i'm using for my 52 weeks of disney <sighs> i just love it so this pocket is very very different than any of the other cloud pockets i do think um 
So I won't have as hard of a time like doing something with this side as I have my other ones. As well as this pocket over here, like, let's just compare the difference. This is my pocket for this year. I still have not done anything else besides put that there. So there's the difference in that. And I do think, I feel like this pocket is the same as my other planner, but this is completely different, right? And then let me look in the back back here. No, this is actually the same. What was I thinking? I don't know. It is stiffer though, for sure. So this pocket is exactly the same. I added this little thing here. So same pocket in the back, but the front is completely different. Um, I don't, when I go to film or when I go to do the 52 weeks of Disney, I really don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't feel like I can really com commit to a whole year of just Disney kits. So I feel like at that point, it's going to be me keeping two planners that are exactly <laughs> Like, I'm going to have a planner for one year that's all Disney, right? And then a planner for the same year that's, like, all the other kits. Because I don't think I can not do Halloween and not do Christmas. And it's just going to be the same plans for both for both uh, planners. I don't know. Is that bougie? I don't really care if it is. Um, but, yeah. So, was not needing to purchase a planner. But I feel like... Their planners kind of sell out so I wanted to get my hands on it because you never know when they're gonna like bring them back and what did I do with like the little there it is the duster bag so I'm just gonna keep it in this this little bag and I'm just gonna keep it nice and neat and clean and we will break it out sometime I don't know when <laughs> all right guys lastly I have only one set of nails over here, but I do have a couple things I want to share with you guys. I feel like a lot of the products that I have and like I love using, I've been heavily influenced by people on <laughs> social media, but like I appreciate it because I would not know about stuff unless people shared it with me. So I wanted to share a couple of my favorite things that I've gotten um, pretty much on Amazon the past little bit. I love these hair ties and I just now realized this one is different than the other ones I wonder why that is I just literally realized that so this one has like a weird little this thing on it and the rest of them I just have these um so somebody shared this in their stories and I decided to give them a try I'm very picky about hair ties I don't like the old school ones that get caught in your hair I really like the ones that like nothing's going to get caught I need them to be tight, but like not too tight. You know what I mean? Like I need them to be secure, but I don't want it to give me a headache. So I've been using the ones that look like the, excuse me, like the telephone cord ones. And I really like those, but they stretch out. I've seen a thing where you can like put them in boiling water and then they go back to little. But like you're going to have to keep doing that over and over. So somebody shared these and they're really silky. So they don't pull my hair at all. And I really love them. I've been using them for probably a month now. I have one in my head. I have a black one. So on Amazon, they have different like color packs. This is the color pack I chose. So you get 10 and I think they were like six, seven dollars, something like that. It wasn't bad at all, but they do have different choices. I literally got them just for these two. I got this pack for these two. Um, so I probably will go back. I think they had like a blue assortment and then maybe like a lighter color assortment or something like that. But I just wanted to share these with you guys. I know a lot of us ladies like to wear our hair up and buns and whatnot. And I do think that these are really, really good. They're not too tight, but they they really do hold your hair. Like I work out in these and everything. So the next thing is some um, watch bands that I got. This is another thing that I feel like I'm very particular about. These are stretchy, so I have one of them on on my Apple Watch. And again, I literally got it just for <laughs> this leopard pattern. But um, I started, like, I had not worn my watch for several months. Um, and then going into the new year, you know, I had this fitness thing I wanted to do. So like, I need to start wearing my watch again. And I had, like, one of the plasticky bands, like the old school ones. And for whatever reason, the little metal part started breaking my wrist out here. I don't know what it was. So 
I looked into getting a new band and honestly I got this one right here. I'll show you what I got. It's pretty big and bulky though. I love this one though and I will link it for you guys but I feel like I'm going to wear this one like more out like if I ever dress up or something just like date nights or whatnot. I think this one is cool though um, but it is big and bulky and like you know you can only put it in certain holes and it's either going to be too tight or it's going to be too loose and this one is actually kind of a little bit loose. Um, and it kind of moves around. So um, when I work out, I think this was like 20 bucks. When I work out, I need my watch to like stay secure. But it's the same thing with the hair tie. I don't want it to be too tight, but I don't need it to be too loose either, you know. These are perfection. I absolutely love this. It's like it doesn't feel too tight on my arm. It stays in place so it like tracks my heart rate good when I'm working out. They're super stretchy. They're adjustable. I love these. So this was a pack of four for like $16, $15, $16, something like that. Not bad at all. And they did have different color assortments on these too. So I just wanted to share those two things with you. I feel like both of them are kind of fitness related because I really love these both for working out. The watch band stays in place, the hair ties stay in place, and since I do share my fitness stuff on here, I wanted to share that with you guys. So, the last thing I have is, I just have one set of nails. I really, y'all probably don't even care, but this is called Snow Queen. I just think these are really pretty, and I got these on Amazon, and even though it's called Snow Queen, it's not like, there's no snowflakes in it. It's just a really pretty, like, gold glitter. You know, inside there might be like a snow design. I'll pull them out. They're not. They're all the same design. Yeah, I just think these are really pretty. And this is the best glue ever. I, this is the best glue. All right, that is it for this month's haul, you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Do all the things so you don't miss all the things. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.